Hey guys, what's going on? This is King Elfie, and today we're going to be looking at 10 things that I think should be introduced into the base game of Minecraft. Number one, we got minecart links. So if anyone's worked with these guys before, then you'll know that working with minecarts is an absolute pain because rails suck and minecarts suck. So I've set up this little contraption here. So if we throw a minecart on here and we push it along, it's going to stop on that powered rail there. But if we throw another one along here, it's going to either push that minecart out of the way, or if we threw another one, it's probably going to bounce backwards. Yeah, so who knows where that's going to stop. But let's say you had a setup like this and you wanted to automate the drop off of materials. What you could do is, die minecart, you could have minecarts linked together so that they stop in each of these locations and they will take items out. So this would open the door for a lot of cool item transportation systems and storage systems, as well as you could probably make a subway or something like that using these minecart links. So I think that would be a really cool addition to vanilla Minecraft. Number two is the powered hopper. So I've always thought that Minecraft needs a faster version of the hopper, which transfers items at 2.5 items per second. This is good for a lot of different farms, but there are also a lot of farms that just outproduce that 2.5 items per second. And you may have seen things kind of like this with hopper and a hopper minecart on top to increase the transfer of items. But what if there was an easier way? What if you could just take your hopper that you've already created, surround it with redstone, and get a powered hopper that transfers at, say, two or three times the speed? I think that this would be an excellent addition to Minecraft because that would also add some complexity to your redstone contraptions because you would have to find a way to then power your hopper without locking any regular hoppers and uh, locking up your redstone system. Number three is towns. So anyone who's been on my channel for a while knows that I absolutely love doing stuff with villagers and pretty much anything village related. And villages have semi-recently gone through a big change with the village and pillage update. But I think the next logical step for villages would be to add new generation to them and a variant called towns where you would have new structures and maybe walls around the village and you could have specific villagers that only appears in towns and you could have increased wandering traders in towns. It would just be really cool for world generation and it would give you more things to explore in the world because who doesn't love a little bit of Minecraft exploring? Number four is backpacks. Now, if you're kind of like me, you may always have an inventory that kind of looks like this when you're building and that's no good for inventory management. Now, I know that they're introducing bags or satchels or sacks or whatever they're calling them now into the game in 117, but I still think that they are a little bit flawed, and I think I have the solution, and that's to introduce a backpack to the game. So, what if you had an extra equipment slot, kind of like this, just off to the side here for a backpack? And what that backpack could do is give you an extra inventory worth of space. And I even have an idea for a crafting recipe for it. So you would have leather straps for the bag, you would have wool for the surrounding, and just add a little bit of complexity to it, throw a netherite ingot in the middle just to make it difficult to craft. And then that would give you a backpack and an extra inventory for space. Number five is waterproof redstone. So how often have you been going around in your world and a creeper comes up or you're mining or something and something like this happens and it just comes down and ruins your day. Your redstone is broken and now you gotta fix it all. Well, I have an idea of how to make waterproof redstone and that is using one of the most useless items in the game, green dye, which was previously known as cactus green. And other than, you know, poking you and making your day miserable, what are cactuses known for? Holding water. So what if you were able to combine a cactus green and a piece of redstone in a crafting recipe and make waterproof redstone? That way, if something like I just showed happened, then the redstone would just become waterlogged or the water would sit on top of it and not wreck your entire contraption. Number six is lava boats. So this one is more just for fun than anything because ever since these guys were introduced into the game, there isn't really a need for a boat that you can use in lava anymore, but it's still a fun idea that my friends and I have actually talked about extensively over the years. What if you were able to use a minecart in the same way as a boat in the nether? So you could plop this guy down, I'm just going to throw it into the lava, we're going to pretend we placed it, and you could hop in the minecart and you could 
scurry along in the nether just like you were using a boat in water. I think that would be a pretty great addition to the game and it would be a lot easier than using striders, that's for sure, because these guys here are a pain to use. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Number seven is better TNT. So you know how for rockets you can use one gunpowder to get flight duration one, two gunpowder to get flight duration two, and three to get flight duration three? Well, what if you had a similar property for TNT? What if you can make the TNT, surround it with gunpowder, and that would amplify your TNT? So this could take effect in a couple of different ways. Number one would be giving TNT a larger blast radius. That way you could destroy a bigger area faster. Number two is it could increase the heat of the explosion so that you can destroy more dense items faster. So for example, if you're netherite mining, if you hit a blackstone vein or a basalt delta or something, you don't have to worry about your TNT being ineffective. Number eight is glass creation. Over the years, Minecraft has drastically improved their smelting system, and most notably, they've added these guys into the game, the Blast Furnace. And they are able to smelt ores at twice the speed of a regular furnace. But one thing that they cannot do is glass, and I think that a Blast Furnace should definitely be able to make glass faster than a regular furnace. Number 9 is Haste and Resistance Potions. I don't know if you guys have ever had a chance to look through the creative menu, but if you look through all of the potions, you'll notice that there are two effects that are missing that people use all the time in beacons, and those effects are haste and resistance, two of the most useful ones in my opinion too. So how could we add these into the game? Well, I think that we would have to first add a new item for the haste beacon. And my idea would be to make a drop from dolphins because dolphins make you swim really fast. So why not make it so that they can make you mine really fast as well from their drops. So that would be my idea for a haste potion. For resistance, I'm not too sure. My first thought was a uh, turtle scoot, but I mean, you can use those to make Turtle Master potions, so I'm not entirely sure what I would use to make a resistance potion, but I'm sure Mojang could think of something to add into the game to make that a viable option as well. But I definitely think that both of those potions should be in the game. And finally, number 10, we have Optifine settings. So many of you probably have Optifine installed on your client right now where you can go into the settings, you can turn on different math algorithms and adjust your animation settings, add shaders, all that kind of fun stuff and increase the performance and prettiness of your game. Well, what if you didn't have to do that? What if those features were already in the game? Because the Optifine team is fairly small and it would not be difficult for Microsoft to hire every single one of their developers and integrate them into the Mojang team and just integrate Optifine directly into the game. And I definitely think that's something that Microsoft should consider because, well, that would just make Minecraft such a better game. And I mean, everyone already has Optifine, so why not make it part of your base game, right? Well guys, there you have it. 10 things that I think should be introduced into vanilla Minecraft, and I definitely had more ideas, but I wanted to keep it to 10 for this video. So if you like this one, make sure to hit the like button, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to see 10 more things that I think should be introduced into the game, let me know in the comment section down below. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later!